Well, hey everyone, this is Shirish and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm back with another one of the amazing US universities, Vanderbilt University. Well, before I start this video, I want to share a quick update since a lot of you reach out to me on my Instagram about my program. Well, every summer, I help small group of college applicants through my very special and power-packed program, IV Cohort. Well, it's about an eight-week high-power online program with me and my team to help you build your winning college applications for admissions. You'll be able to build your entire applications during these eight weeks of high-intensity mentorship. If you're interested to take mentorship from me, click on the link in the description box and know all the details about this program. And yes, you can join from anywhere in the world. So I'll see you live in the program. Now for this video, I will give you an in-depth view of the university and I will decode the academic, social and financial aspect of the university with my star ratings. And then I will offer you the most important tips and strategies to get into Vanderbilt. So let's hit it up for Vanderbilt University. Hi, I'm Shirish Gupta and I empower people to hack their success, rise above the challenges and confidently create an extraordinary life they deserve. Vanderbilt University is a private research university in Nashville, Tennessee, which was established in 1873. It was named after American businessman Cornelius Vanderbilt, who provided the first endowment. Vanderbilt Network includes 54 current and former members of the United States Congress, 18 U.S. ambassadors, 13 governors, two vice presidents of the United States, two U.S. Supreme Court justices, and 11 billionaires. Yes. Well, Nashville is the hub for several booming industries, the home to global community, including the nation's largest Kurdish population and America's friendliest city, according to the Travel and Leisure magazine. Nashville combines history and hospitality with diverse culture and growth, including music and entertainment, tourism, printing and publishing technology, higher education, automobile production and healthcare management. The campus is located in the center of the city with about 330 acres to its name. The main campus is art and sculptures dot the landscape and architectural styles range from Gothic to modern glass and brick. Include the engineering and science building and a space designed for innovation and entrepreneurship. The oldest building on the original campus was constructed around 1859. The Peabody College section of campus has been listed on the National Register of Historic Places as a National Historic Landmark since 1966. The most popular majors at Vanderbilt include human and organizational development, engineering, biological sciences, medicine, health and society, economics and education. Although I'm not a big fan of judging a university solely on the basis of the ranking, Vanderbilt is still in the top 5% universities in the world, according to US News, QS News and all other major ranking services. All right, now let's move on to our next section, talking about the right fit, starting with academic fit. The academic climate is competitive, but absolutely collaborative. Popular majors on campus include human and organization development, engineering, especially mechanical, is also one of the good programs. Business and economics are also sought after. Vanderbilt is among a unique set of independent universities that offers both a high-quality undergraduate program as well as a full range of top-ranked graduate and professional degree programs. There are four undergraduate colleges, College of Arts and Sciences, College of Engineering, Blair School of Music, or Peabody College of Education and Human Development. But everyone takes their core liberal arts courses in the College of Arts and Science. Recently, Vanderbilt had included new graduate requirements to its course, including uh, undergraduate undertaking an immersive learning experience, such as internship, fieldwork, or performances, culminating in the final project. Students can choose from four pathways, civic and professional, creative expression, international, and research. Vanderbilt and the affiliated non-profit Vanderbilt University Medical Center engage in frequent cross-disciplinary collaboration to drive innovation and positive change across society at large. The programs like biological sciences, medicine, health and society are benefited by the collaborative research efforts. Not just undergraduates, but the university also is home to nationally and internationally recognized graduate school of law, education, business, medicine, nursing, and divinity, and offers robust graduate degree programs across a range of disciplines. Vanderbilt's study abroad program attracts 44% of students and offers the chance to spend a summer, a semester, or a year on one of the six continents via more than 120 programs. Optional first-year commons i-seminars allow students to explore various topics in small groups with close faculty interaction. The faculty is definitely amazing. The quality of teaching is unmatched. 
professors go out of their way to help students get involved in research and internship opportunities. Roughly half of the students from all four undergraduate sc schools participate in research and also postgraduate students. Most of the classes here are average to medium size. Two thirds of the classes have less than 20 students. So keeping all this thing in mind, I would like to rate Vanderbilt with four stars on five on the academic difficulty and quality level. Well, after academic fit, let's move on to social fit. Vanderbilt has a balance between great academics and a solid social life. Vanderbilt helps in an innovative living and learning environment for students to explore their passions, engage in academic research with world and faculty, and build lasting connections with, within a diverse and dynamic student community. Its proximity to Music City, USA, provides plenty to do. The Stratford Student Center is a social hub with a movie theater, grand dining hall, a pub, and offices for students' organizations. They have more than 500 clubs and organizations. Specific organizations range from Vanderbilt student, government, and other forms of shared governance to special interest groups like Geology Club, Running Club, and Vanderbilt Piano Society, among many others, to official associations like the American Medical Student Association and the American Academy of Environmental Engineers and Scientists. So there are a lot of opportunities to get involved in these activities for every student. Vanderbilt has above 13,000 students in total, about 6,600 are undergrad and remaining as PGs and PhDs. Housing is absolutely amazing. 90% of students stay on campus and most of the students prefer living on campus during their full education with Vanderbilt. This was reduced to 50% during the pandemic. All first year students come together to one of the most historic areas of the campus. Known as the Commons, the initiative is designed to foster a sense of community among the university's freshmen. At the time of recording this video, Vanderbilt does not offer on-campus university housing for graduate or professional students. To support the housing needs of new and continuing graduate and professional students, the Office of Housing and Residential Experiences provide a web-based off-campus housing service. The housing service lists information on housing accommodations for students who plan to live off-campus. Vanderbilt has more than 20 dining facilities that always provide an array of delicious options, and students living on campus are required to buy a dinner plan. The food is pretty good too. A number of sports are available for students to get involved in. Vanderbilt is the smallest and the only private institution in the competitive and football crazy Southeastern Conference. Men's varsity team include baseball, basketball, cross country, football, golf, tennis. And women's include basketball, bowling, cross country, golf, lacrosse, soccer, swimming, tennis, track and field. Vanderbilt offers a competitive academic and good social life as well. I would like to give it three stars out of five on quality of life at Vanderbilt. Now let's look at the financial fit. Well, being a private college, no doubt Vanderbilt falls in an expensive school category. You can expect anything about $45,000 to about $60,000 in annual tuition expenses. Some postgraduate programs can cost even higher than this. The housing and dining may fall in the same about fifty dollars to 20000 range for most. As far as financial aid is concerned, Vanderbilt employs a need-blind admission process, meets full demonstrated need for all admitted students, and offers loan-free financial aid packages for students with demonstrated need. Vanderbilt University offers renewable, need-based financial aid to a limited number of international freshman undergraduate applications. In addition to need-based aid, the university awards approximately 215 merit scholarships complete with summer stipends to admitted students through three signature merit scholarship programs. There are also 238 athletic scholarships awarded. International freshman applicants are also eligible to apply for all the Vanderbilt merit-based scholarships offered at Vanderbilt. To be considered for merit-based scholarships, you must complete the appropriate application online, for which the deadline is December 1st, a year prior to your start date. So keep that in mind. So overall, I would like to give it three stars out of five on financial fit. Well, after exploring the fit, let's move to the most curious section on how to increase your chances of getting into Vanderbilt with my special admission tips and strategies. The ideas I'm going to share now come from a decade-long experience working with students for career and college admissions. Vanderbilt's acceptance rate last year was about 12%. The graduation rate is about 92% overall, which is amazing. Vanderbilt employs a holistic application review process. There are five major components that you need to work on while working on Vanderbilt application. And today I'm gonna to talk about all five. The first priority is to ensure that students are academically prepared to succeed at a rigorous institution like Vanderbilt. They are looking for students who have challenged themselves with a rigorous curriculum and perform well in those classes. So make sure to take challenging classes and do well in them. 
You can take online MOOCs on Coursera or edX if your school or college had limitation on courses that you can take. Try to maintain a good GPA about 3.5 and above or 90% or 30 at IB points. For PG students, 7.5 and above is a good score. Another important part of the application is your performance on standardized tests. That will tell them how well you have performed in the greater context of all students across the globe. For SAT, try to score about 1450 plus, ACT that's 33, GR is about 320 and GMAT is about 680. Having a good academic and test score convinces the admission officers that you can handle the academic load at the university. Once you have ensured that you will be academically competitive in their process, they look to see what else you have been doing throughout the high school or college years. Well, they do not value any one particular type of involvement over another, but look in every case for both commitment and time and effort and strong leadership skills. Try to create a depth in your profile, that is show a deeper level commitment with some activity that could be sports, research, dance or any other activity. Regardless of SOP or what prompts you choose from the list of what you talk about, they are looking for at this portion of your application to learn more about what skills, character traits, point of view or life experiences you would bring to the community. So they are actively looking for students with diverse character traits and experiences. Some character traits they value are leadership, community, self-belief, application of knowledge amongst others. The final element required for all Vanderbilt applicants is a set of recommendation letters. Well, these letters serve to support all of the other pieces of your application and reaffirm what's been seen in your transcripts, your test code, extracurricular activities and personal essays. LORs are very important for postgraduate students as well, so make sure to do justice with it. Always apply early for maximum benefit and good offers. For undergraduates, students can apply early decision in November and regular decision in January. In fact, Vanderbilt offers early decision too in January as well. The application is accepted through all three, Common Application, Collision and QuestBridge. As far as postgraduates and PhDs are concerned, applications are accepted individually department-wise. Well, deadlines for most PG courses are around 15th of January, but some programs have earlier deadline as well. So make sure to check the program-specific page well in advance to avoid missing the deadline. Well, in the end, to conclude, if you're hardworking, fun-loving, sports enthusiast, amazing at time management, Vanderbilt is for you. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please make sure to support my work by liking and sharing this video and also subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. Well, if you want to get admission to Vanderbilt University or any other top universities, I would highly recommend you to check out this course on college admission called The Successful Applicant. Well, I've created this course with 11 years of my expertise and helped thousands of students to get admitted to top colleges such as Howard, MIT, and US, Oxford, Vanderbilt, Cambridge, Stanford, and all other top colleges around the world. Well, this course is completely on demand and you can complete this at your own pace for university shortlisting, program building, essay writing, college interviews, and everything else that will make sure you get admission to your dream choice school. It's a short ticket for your dream college admission. Well, make sure to enroll today and learn to apply like a successful applicant. Well, even if you're taking a professional help, learning the strategies from this program can hugely benefit your admissions. Well, thank you once again for watching this video. I'll be back with another amazing video for you. Till then, this is Shirish signing off. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.